Usually I don't do behind the scenes getting ready because it's usually the most stressful time for me. When I'm getting ready, I'm thinking about a million things and I'm like, there's no way I could handle doing behind the scenes, but today I have a little bit of time. Now I just like need to not get carried away with my outfits and do my makeup. I think I'm gonna do something simple today so I can wear it with all my outfits. I think it, I just need a moisture. And so I washed my face this morning, so my face is clean. I live in Vegas, so my biggest concern is always keeping my skin from being too dry. Face is moisturized. Now I'm gonna use this hydrating primer. I used to use this other stuff. That was way too expensive. What was it? Makeup Forever. I just like went through it too fast. Okay, primer, check. Now I'm gonna use this BB cream with this. And then I'm also gonna use this for concealer. I'm just gonna put that under my eyes. I don't know what the fuck just happened. I opened up the whole thing and now I spilled foundation everywhere. This is why we get ready early because stuff like this happens. Can you see it? <sighs> well, usually I use a blender sponge, but I'm gonna use this brush today, a foundation brush. I'm gonna mix the two. Oh my God, I made such a mess. Fuck. Damn it. We're just gonna paint this shit on all over human coverage. I heard that you don't really want to brush your makeup on because then that's when you start looking streaky. No one wants to look streaky. Don't forget to do your neck. <laughs> oh my God. I'll see you in a second. Okay, we're doing fine on time. Um, now I'm gonna even everything out with this um, blender, whatever, blender sponge. Usually I don't mix my makeup like that, but this is a lighter pigment than this. This has like really light coverage and then the Bare Minerals has like medium coverage. That's why I mix the two. I think I there's too much of the Bare Minerals in this and that's why it looks so light on me. But you know, whatever, it'll be fine. I'm just not gonna panic. My skin is looking smoother. We're not gonna panic. I got this. Um, right now, I feel like it looks like it's, it's a little too light. So I'm just gonna add contour and then it'll be fine. At least I'm hoping it'll be fine. This is um, a Ben Nye pressed powder. Super dark for my skin, but We'll just add a little bit like around my forehead. That looks so fucking dark, you know, on the sides of my nose and then under my cheekbones. <sighs> oh my God, this is not going as planned. You know, if the camera wasn't on right now, I'd be freaking the fuck out. We're just gonna work with what we have. There's a contour. I'm gonna add more powder. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna blend first and then add powder. We are blending this in as best as we can. You know, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's add a little bit more to my forehead. There's a light right here. It's my magnifying mirror. I'm gonna add more foundation on top because I feel like that's the right thing to do right now. It's not as washed out as you think. See, it's just the light. Okay, done with that. I'm gonna grab my chair. All right, what are we gonna do next? Let's start working on the eyes. I always mess, mess this part up and do eyeshadow first. I usually do eyeliner first and then put my eyelashes on and then I get my eyelashes all dusty. And then I'm like, damn it, how do I fuck that up again? But today, I have you guys here to hold me accountable and I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> now we're gonna use this for the base. Just pretty neutral colors. I'm gonna do some little pink and purple. I think it's gonna look good. Let's do the base. I usually have eyeshadow primer, but I don't think of it until I'm putting eyeshadow on. 
Should I put it on? But can I put it on after I put eyeshadow? Whatever. I got my base for my eyeshadow on. Sorry, I'm like, I love the brushes over there. I am back. God, I really want Botox. <laughs> eyeshadow. Jackie's so cute. He put ear enough on all of my like little makeup mirrors. I almost got too excited and started putting fucking eyeliner on. Cause on a normal day, I usually don't do the whole eyeshadow thing. I decided to go with the nudes. I went a little bit darker with dark purple on the outside of my eyes. I'm gonna add some lighter shadows by my eyebrows on like my upper lid or whatever. And then on the inner corners, I'm gonna add the lighter shadows there too. And I always blend using the back of the brush. And add some glitter. Okay, so I have this Urban Decay. It's called Midnight Cowboy. I don't know if they make it anymore, but that's what I'm gonna put on my upper eyelid. It's super shimmery. It kind of gets everywhere usually when I use it. But I love the pigment. God, I hope this isn't one of the fucking eyeshadows that has like the micro plastic. Okay. Now it's time for eyeliner. We're gonna use this. Um, I think I've tried every liquid eyeliner on the planet and this is my favorite. Um, Kat Von D, you suck. Urban Decay also sucks. NYX, it is bomb. It just like goes on so smooth and it lasts a pretty long time. Um, they have a vinyl one that I was thinking about using, but this mount was in front of me, so that's what I'm using. Oh fuck, I messed up. See, but I went over it again, so it's fine. Fuck. <laughs> you know, that's not what I planned, but it's okay. Eyeliner on fleek, not today, but we're gonna deal with it. It's just like a little smudgy over there. Um, these are the eyelashes I'm wearing. I love eyelashes. They're just so extra and I love it. Me and my best friend were like obsessed with eyelashes when we were growing up that we always like got each other gifts for our eyelashes, like eyelash curlers. I don't have mine anymore. Okay, so we have to do with the eyelashes is make sure you'll always bend them and stuff. Holy shit. I need to almost be done by now because I have to be gone out of here in like 40 minutes. And I feel like that's not that much time. Okay, we're gonna see. Okay, that's gonna look good. I was worried my tits were out. Same thing, we're gonna get them all bendy. Some people are like, oh, I can't wear eyelashes. This step helps. We're gonna take off the glue that came on it. Most of it is off. Okay, this is the eyelash glue that I use. Who makes it? I think it's Sally. Oh, no, 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 it's Kiss. They make a clear one, but I've learned that clear never dries on clear, so it's better to go with black. Make sure you blow on it. And I think this is where people fuck up too when they're putting on eyelashes. They try to put it on right away and the glue's not like sticky yet. You have to wait like 15 seconds. Blow on it. And then it also helps when you use a mirror under you like this and then like look down and then put it on. So we're gonna, we're gonna do this. crazy. It looks so different. See, eyelashes are the best. Make sure the corners of your lashes have enough glue on them because that's usually where, where problems happen. Ah, oh, that's so perfect. Same thing. We're gonna blow on it. Wait till the glue gets a little sticky. You can still like roll your lashes while you're waiting for the glue to get a little bit more sticky. Um, I don't use latex glue anymore because it just gets so sticky. I mean, it's so messy. 
It's also easier if you use tweezers, so. My legs fell asleep while I was sitting down. Fuck, they hurt. Ow. Okay. Try again, take two. Is that looking? Is that better than last time or is it worse? I don't fucking know. I feel like it was better the first time. Well, I'm not gonna do it again. So this is, this is just how I'm gonna look. I feel like it looks good. Looks good. It looks good. Right? Okay. What are we gonna do next? Let's fix my eyebrows. I don't know how to do fucking eyebrow makeup. My eyebrow routine is not, not the best. I feel like I have pretty like full eyebrows. So I just use this. I found it at Ulta. I found everything here that I have at Ulta. I just like that store. I don't really know what I'm doing. I just don't understand eyebrows. And some people have like such good like arched eyebrows and mine are kind of like flat not flat but like not super arched but they're like thick let's see okay we're done with eyebrows <laughs> let's put some blush on and then powder and then we're done okay usually i use um urban decay but during a scene someone was holding my makeup bag and then fucking dropped it and then my urban decay Blush palette <sighs> fucking didn't survive. It's in pieces. Kind of soddy about it. <laughs> Makes me sad because I spent too much money on blush. <laughs> and this stuff works just as good. It's not like too shimmery, but it's like pink. Add some color. Okay, that's what I look like right now. Let's put some powder on. Okay, before powder, we're gonna use this under my eyes. Uh-huh. I think I need a little bit of eyeliner under my eyes. Okay, so I have mascara on. Okay, now we're just gonna lock all of this in. I'm using more than I luxury powder. There's a little bit of color to it, it's not translucent. It makes my skin look velvety and nice. See, I'm gonna use this, but I Nutriset. Good stuff. Just mattens everything out and seals everything in nice. It's a doll. Okay. So I'm not gonna do any lip stuff because I don't have to shoot for a while. Now I just have to get together a few more outfits and then I need to be out in 20 minutes. 15 minutes if I wanna be early. All right, final, final. This is Maybelline's. I usually use Urban Decay's um, like party all night or something, but I bought this one time because it was an emergency situation and I went to a shoot and I didn't have it. So I bought that. But my favorite one out of all of them is Krylon. Krylon makes it the best. It's like aerosol. Kind of looks like hairspray, but it's not. It's really good. Now I'm just gonna get together some more outfits. Also before my photo shoots, I try not to wear Anything that's like too tight that's gonna give me lines, like jeans and stuff like that. I also try not to like eat too much. I'm pretty surprised that I was able to film myself and get ready. <laughs>